Hello everyone, I'm Sean at Sepator Prod. I'm an audio engineer who loves K-pop. I'm here reviewing this week's K-pop, Fresh Off The Streets. Before we get into that, support me, link in description, buy me a coffee. Vanna Jackpot. It's a cool pop rock track. I love the tempo, it's super energetic. The beat sounds kind of weird, like semi-acoustic, uh, uncanny valley-ish at times. I would have preferred either fully acoustic or a digital sounding drum. The guitar's great throughout, it's mixed really well. On occasion the vocals sound a bit too affected by auto-tune. Maybe some other effects were in their delays, reverbs, but overall it's a great energetic performance. It's a really fun track right here. A Boy Cold with Leela Mars, I Can't Be Cool It's Cold. I love this take on Korean R&B. It fuses it with the dance hall beat. Boom, da boom, cha, boom, da boom, cha. Brilliant. The production is pretty good. I love the scratchiness of the drums on the mid highs. The low mid's a bit crowded though, especially with the keys. It could barely make them out at times. The beat's loud, but I did like that. The bass was a touch low mid heavy as well. If there's such a thing as too thick, this is it. It's a cool track, but it doesn't really stand out. Lee Lamar's performance, great. Changmo came back with a song called Heliot Emil. I'm not sure what that means. I like the glassy samples throughout the mix. It's got a city pop vibe to them. The song in general sounded like the soundtrack to Persona, that JRPG. And Changmo's flow, it's fast. The performance lacks some dynamics though. I think they're affected by the auto-tune on his voice, the dynamics. It sort of makes it one note, kind of plotty. Doesn't overstay its welcome though, this one. In fact, it's actually a bit short. I kind of would have liked a bridge, maybe even a feature. The instrumental is mesmerizing though. I wanted to swim in it a little more. Very good track. Definitely check it out. 2AM, legendary ballad group 2AM came back with the track, Echoes of Love's Journey. This track's quite loud considering it's a ballad. The vocal performance, incredible. I prefer it to If You Change Your Mind, which came out a little while ago. Found a little more emotive this one. The chorus melody, great. It's got a pace to it, it soars, it's performed beautifully. The arrangement stock standard, you know, strings, guitar, etc, nothing new. I'm loving 2AM though, they're being more active recently, they truly are summer K-pop strongest singers. I heard they release more this year. Siori, Broken, I loved the vocal on this one. The intro and verse reminded me of FKA Twigs. It's dark, it's solemn, spacious mix, very cool filtering and verbs and delays on the beat. Harmonies are beautiful and warm, the track's got good dynamics, it crescendos so satisfyingly in the back end. It's an awesome track from Sori, an artist with a great diverse range I'm finding. Uh, Baby Monster. They came back, pre-release single, stuck in the middle. It's a solid pop ballad, unexpected, didn't expect a ballad from Baby Monster, it's really cool. The vocal's angelic, it's fairy-like with its high-pitched soft airiness. It comes in with a beat at the back half of the raps, and it's mixed fine, but it never comes back. It just disappears. I was hanging out for the rest of the song, like, where's that beat? Where's that beat gone? Piano and vocal, though, it's performed really well. The harmonies are beautiful, but it got in the way of the sparseness. It's kind of overproduced, this song. They did a little too much. I maybe would have preferred something really sparse like g-dragons untitled that probably would have made this even more haunting even more emotive but it's pretty good from baby monster eden eternal i just want to shout out this track because it just scratched an itch for me it's tone it's beautiful r and ness <laughs> it's just wonderful check it out eden eternal dpr arctic featuring dpr ian do or die of course, I had to check this out. It's got DPIE in on it, and it's a trance-leaning tune. I wasn't really expecting that. I really like the higher-pitched synth. It's got a cool tone. All the textures are really cool, reminiscent of Rufus to Soul. The track lacked a little something, though. Maybe more dynamics, maybe some variation in the higher elements. And DPIE in has this subdued performance. It suits the track emotionally, but it doesn't give it energy, so the track kind of plods a little. Bobby... Oven featuring Sunya, True Love. It's a pretty cool bop, this one. The bass is a touch loud. There's some cool harpsichord sounding flourishes mixed really wet. It's a cool sound in the chorus. Flow is okay. Oven's performance is also okay. KCM, For You. 
Not too much to say about this one either, but the vocal performance is the best I've heard in a hot minute. Over 20 years in the game, KCM hitting us with a perfect Korean ballad. Ulti, Lone, Lacoste. Ooh, this beat knocks. I love the percussion in the high. It's got a metallic glassy touch. The vocals sitting perfectly in the mix. The flow is okay, if not a little lagging at times. I would have liked some more dynamics. The siren used well. It wasn't so annoying in this one. Awesome track. Bluebell, Monje Malhage. I'll tell you first. This pre-debut from Future Idol Project Bluebell, it slaps. It's got a city pop synthwave kind of vibe. Took me by surprise how good it sounds. Some of the vocal performances, incredible. Despite others being kind of affected, so inconsistent a little. But it's really catchy, groovy tune. Check it out. Super Junior LSS. Come on. I wasn't crazy about this one. It's got obnoxious horns. I've heard that trap beat plenty. It's not as good as Suit Up. I just didn't feel this one from Super Junior LSS. The performance is great, just not my flavor. Basecamp featuring Soul Love. This one has an interesting beat. It sounds like Bake Your In's Our Love Is Great. Or Popo, even. Like, combine the two. Our Soul is great on the track. Great control. Soulful vocal. The production is warm. The performance swings really naturally. I really appreciate how real the performance and the mix sounds. The trumpet solo at the end is great. I really recommend this one. All right, that's going to do it for this week. Uh, I'll see you next week with more brand new K-pop. It's always coming out, always hitting us with that goodness. I'm Sean, at Sepitol Prod. Buy me a coffee, link in description. Till next time. Hello everyone, I'm Sean, at Sepitol Prod, back for another week of weekly K-pop reviews. Going to be breaking down the latest tracks, seeing what I think of them. Here we go. Before that, if you like the channel, want to support it, link in description. P1 Harmony, killing it. The sax on this track is nasty. Great energy in the vocal performance. It's reminiscent of Monster X or NCT. The horn is less obnoxious than other K-pop tunes out there, uh, but it's still up there. The beat is fine. I like the dynamics on this track at certain times, but still kind of plods. It's a little grating. It's kind of mid. Apex, Graduation Day. This is a well-made mid-tempo spring tune. The group vocal moments are tasteful. They're fun. They're mixed well. The guitar is pleasant. It accompanies the keys really well. I respect the brighter sound on this one. It takes what could be a smooth, deep R&B song into a spring mood. It works. The vocal performance, it's pretty good. Maybe a couple moments of heavy auto-tuning, but otherwise this is a pretty good effort from Apex. I'm keen to hear more from him. Ocean from the Blue, 25, a colour show. Mm, this tune's sick. Wet, swirling, detuned synths around a fun, acoustic-sounding beat that's tastefully compressed. It's nice and scratchy in the high mids. The vocal is well done, dynamic. I especially loved the I did it moments. I don't know about the 20, 20, 25 hook, though. It didn't quite grab me. I recommend this one, though. It's definitely worth giving a shot. Joe Guangil's plosive, very fast flows from the Show Me The Money 10 winner. I love the UK drum and bass beat. It's mixed well. The slower effect vocal singing parts were meh, but at least it gave it some dynamics. It stands out, this one. Check it out. Don Mills, another rapper with OK. Don Mills, man, underrated. Like, great dynamic flows, catchy hook. The only deterrent is the dated auto-tune sound. I'm very tired of this aggressive auto-tune, like, Leave it in the 2010s. The song doesn't overstay its welcome. It clocks in at under two minutes, but I want a little more. It's a good track. Lim Kim, Alt. This track's awesome. Hyper Pop Leaning, it's like 100 Gex or Charlie XCX. The instrumental is abstract. It's got percussion pops against a trap beat. The chorus has a weird double kick effect going on. Bit too weird, that was grating. But Lim Kim's performance, very cool. Tastefully digital sounding. The bridge outro, so great. Distorted bass, naughty lyrics. It's my favorite Lim Kim track by far. O Wave, fixed. Ball so. O Wave's back. Come to Me was in my top 50 K pop songs last year. This new one called Ball so, it's pretty good. Production is wavy. It's an affected flute swirling around the mix that's cool. The performance was as good as I've heard O Wave. Not better though. 
I hold them to high standards because I really love to come to me, so I found this one a touch underwhelming. The chorus hook wasn't that catchy. The fast flow in it, it's great, but it affects the dynamics. It was kind of one note. Pandagon, Kid Millie, Sofa Glue. Great track name. I wasn't stoked on the intro of this track, felt boring, kind of standard R&B, like Jibanoff, Car the Garden type stuff, but the performance is excellent. The emotion is palpable. Kid Millie, he's awesome. He suits the track like a glove. The track, kind of shoegazy, post-rock leaning. It unexpected, but mournful bliss. Voices are mixed beautifully. The guitar tone is warm and washed in reverbs, delays. It builds and crescendos nicely. Although I wish the vocal did as well, it stayed one note, which was a choice. I kind of respect it, but I wanted it to really soar in that end bit. Check this one out though, cool track. Wu Jin Young, Closer. The winner of Mix 9, Wu Jin Young, dropped an EP. Don't worry, be happy. It's called. The title track is Closer. It's an okay disco infused pop song. Definitely a good vocalist. The production is pretty good. It's maybe a little over compressed, especially the drums and the bass. It's not a very memorable, but it's an okay track. Hwanji, Father. This song's heartbreaking. It's a beautiful performance. I don't have much to say, but just listen. Beautiful stuff. Super Junior LSS, Joke. The song sounds a lot like J pop. Uh, like cartoon, Kanjani 8 kind of sound. It's better than Come On, but it was lacking dynamics compared to Suit Up, which is so far the best one Super Junior LSS has had. The performance is great, it's fun, it's more of the same really, but that's fine, like Super Junior LSS have a sound, and that's great, I respect it. Crucial Star, 2009, featuring Unofficial Boy. The accent on a different part of the beat made this one stand out. It's got a standard jazzy hip-hop arrangement, standard lo-fi leaning mix and production, but it hits different. Singing parts were great, not auto-tuned aggressively, pleasantly warm distortion and delivery. Unofficial Boy brings some dynamics to the track, which was welcome. It's great. I recommend it for the jazzy lo-fi hip-hop head. That'll do it for this week. Thanks so much for listening or watching. I'm Sean. Buy me a coffee. Till next time. Hello everyone, I'm Sean at Sepator Prod, audio engineer who loves K-pop, breaking down this week's brand new K-pop releases track by track. Here we go. Before that, if you like what you see, support me at the link in description. Like, subscribe. Ebong Chan, Everlasting Night. Great production on this fairly generic ballad. The delays and verbs on the guitar are spacious and grand. The soundstage is really big on this one. Elements are mixed up close, far away, made the track epic. Lee Bong Chan's vocal, excellent. Check it out if you love Korean ballads. Gyeongso Yeji, Day by Day. It's a very standard, uninteresting track, this one. The vocal is delivered airy, which it can cause problems in the high mid, that sibilance. I still found it a bit harsh this time. The synth solo, very cool. Otherwise, it's very standard cafe kind of music. Only featuring Suyoni, Spicy. It's a smooth R&B tune from Only. A really great vocal performance. It's dynamic, it's sexy. The kick is mixed in a really interesting way. It's kind of clicky. It seems to have even some soft clipping like you would see in uh, EDM tracks and very metal rock kind of click on the kick. That was really interesting to hear in an R&B track of all places. It didn't quite have the dynamics I hoped for in the performance, especially the vocal, but it's quite a good R&B track if you're into that. Modi featuring Ha, Drip. Title track of Modi's debut, Motivation, it's great. Modi's production is awesome, it's loud, deep, wide. The synths could have been a touch deeper in the chorus. I like the higher pitch moments in the verses, the auto tune's not so grating, it suits the track, flow is great, it's fun, really solid debut from Modi. I also recommend Minus featuring Loopy. Jiyongse, up to you. Really liked the flavour of this track. The beat is mixed a bit low. The track is very crowded too. It's a lot of elements competing rather than complimenting, I found. But this helps the pace of the track. The vocal performance, very good. The wet, squelchy synths, awesome. Choppy strings are cool. They're mixed well. Track is short as well, in a good way. Really solid effort from Ji Young Fans of Hoodie will like this one. 10. Nightwalker. 
I love the bass lick at the intro of this one. The pre-chorus too is awesome. It's super spacious. This beautiful synth is in it. And the vocal performance, theatrical, epic, kind of like DPR Ian-ish. The acoustic guitar is a bit jarring. The track's kind of blending all these different styles together. Once again, like DPR Ian, rock, R&B, EDM. It doesn't quite go as well as DPR Ian did in blending these genres together. It's not bad though. A uh, really good track. I just wanted a few more soaring notes maybe from 10. Otherwise, highly recommended. SM, nice one. BB, Bum Young Gun. Not really my style, but a really well done track. BB's voice complements the jazz arrangement perfectly. The Walt beat is addictive. The synth solo is a bit weird, but it gives the track dynamics, which I appreciated. I love how acoustic most of the elements sounded, but the synth is out of place in this arrangement. It's not bad. I recommend if you like this kind of IU Red Shoes, Bake Ion kind of sound. Our Real Goat, save me. Wasn't feeling this one. The Leela Mars Wanstein kind of sound, it's played out. There's nothing new on this track. Moving on. Chew, Chocolate. It's doing a Dua Lipa song on this one. Similar melody to After Like by Ive. The production is good. I liked the kind of 8-bit twinkly synths and the beat in the pre-chorus and verse. And the vocal performance is excellent. It's worth checking this one out. Switch featuring Hado, Your Eyes. Production is excellent, clear, deep, spacious. I love the wide panned harmonies and synths. The acoustic drums sound a little thin, but that gets out of the bass's way and the guitar's way. It's not too groundbreaking arrangement wise, that Jabinoff kind of sound, but it's one of the better efforts here. Ant Snake, Foolish, awesome track. Swirling swimming synths, weird vocal doubling effects, it gives this track a really unsettling feeling. The beat is very cool, there's a nice click to it. The performance is cool, if not overly affected at times. I can't get it out of its own way, I found. Track runs long, it plods a touch, especially when the vocals fall away for this instrumental passage. Kind of went a bit long. And the B part, it's not much different from the A, so the track kind of lacks dynamics a little bit. Could have used a beat switch, maybe a tempo change to keep things going. I love the vibe of this track though. Jason Lee featuring Saran, bad. This track's a bop. I love the distortion on the bass. We've heard the choppy, filtered vocals on a million pop songs, but it's not overused here. I love the sax, sexy, mixed well, really fun. Saran is sultry and wonderful. The bass is stunning on this track. It's a touch one note, but beautiful. Yusui, Blanket. Decent production on this one, though squelchy synths, really nice. The vocal's great. I love the dynamics of the track, the synths falling away sometimes, a little abruptly, but it's a wonderful lush tone and melody. The beat is nothing special, but it really carries the track. Yusui, on my radar now. If I Were, featuring Whistle. Really interesting piano sound. It's got a distant, plucky delay, Kind of sounds like footsteps in an empty room. The vocal performance, emotive, great. Found myself mesmerized by this one. It has a lo-fi leaning and the production that makes it calming and it had me coming back. The wind, high teen. It's catchy, it's got a J-pop sound to it, but the beat's a bit too crispy. It was tearing my ears off a little. The vocal performance, it's okay. The synths are lush. It's a pretty good effort from the wind. Not really my style though. Skymin Hyuk, Nyodo Hebang. This track's awesome. Instrumental reminded me of lo-fi legend New Jarvis, especially with the flute and the sax and the very warm piano. The flow is awesome, it's powerful, dynamic, catchy, highly recommend this one. Nina, Love Like This. Track's pretty cool, it's a hyper-pop ballad. Found the auto-tune didn't fit it, especially with a very acoustic sounding piano going throughout. The trap beat weirdly worked though, deep and full. The synths in the distance of the chorus are skeletal and cool. The song doesn't overstay its welcome, it's very well crafted. Ensign, Happy End. The Nanas are ugh. I love the beat, though. Very thick bass backing it. It's sitting very nice in the mix. The horns were mixed cool too. Very grand with big reverb. The vocal performance is very good, it's mixed really well. It's not bad, it's not really my style, but it had a bit of attitude to the cutesy sound, which was nice. Cha Un Wu, Stay. 
The guitar intro gives Ash Island vibes. The glassy, desolate mood reminded me of metal band Dream Theater's Pull Me Under, even. The drums are a touch squashed. I wanted them to breathe a little more. The harmonies, beautiful, ethereal, with the filters on them. I appreciate Charu Wu performing a style that suits his natural timbre. And the song's great, it really stands out as well. Very unique sounding in K-pop. Amos, somebody. It's not bad. It has this plucky bass, disco style guitar that remind me of DNC's Cake by the Ocean. Vocals are a bit artificial, over affected. They sit well in the mix and they soar nicely in the chorus. The mix is appropriately bright, it's very balanced. I wanted the drums to pop out a touch more. It's an okay track, but forgettable. DK from Icon, Groovin. It's a pretty standard R&B cut, channeling Jay Park, especially in that kind of talk, sung, rapped verses. It's catchy, the vocal melody especially, very sensual, lovely. It's alright. We in. We. It's a J-pop song by We in. Really energetic. It's a great track. I wanted more of a dynamic pre-chorus, so a quiet moment, then launch into the soaring chorus that we get. It didn't quite hit how it should because of this whole track just going a million miles a minute. The guitar tone's great, the drums have a hip hop production to them which it could be a bit much at times but it matched the track's energy. Wynn's performance was great, it's a fun one. Lim Hyun Chik of B2B, Lamar. Pretty good rock ballad for fans of FT Island slower tracks or Car the Garden or even uh, you take one class, the K-drama OST artist like Gaho. Right, that's going to do it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Support me at the link in description. Share it with your friends. I'm Sean. Till next time. Hello everyone, I'm Sean. Audio engineer loves K-pop. Back with more weekly K-pop reviews, starting with Icon's Bobby featuring Chamina Harmless. Cool effort from Bobby. His flow is good. If not lacking some dynamics, considering how many bars it ran for, the build-up is long, uh, really pays off though. The drop is so great. I love his screams, those were brilliant, unexpected. Chum Mina's part, also great, more dynamic than Bobby's performance. I love the distortion and the filtered moment, like a megaphone or a dirty radio. The beat is tastefully compressed, solid, not minimal, Solid if not minimal production, it kind of feels like a warm up rather than a title track because it's fairly one note this one, but not bad. Taeyong, Tap. This track's cute. I love the vibe at times, Taeyong's very serious delivery, it's goofy as hell. Like the production and mix, it's spacious, grand, it's incredible. There's these weird bubble popping noises throughout it that I really liked. It's a big beat with a kind of summer funk kind of guitar. I love the panning of all of these percussion moments going off in the background. I really like Taeyong's harmonies backing him up. I'm kind of wondering how this wasn't an NCT song though. With those harmonies we could have had a full group kind of sound that might have been better even. But his singing moments are great. It's a fun track. It's not bad. Gravity, Love or Die. Oh yes. This track is dripping with pop punk 2000s flair. I really liked Kravity's vocals on this one. The delivery is emotive, powerful. It's mixed up front, tastefully compressed, affected with verbs and delays. The guitars are swimming in effects. They're a really interesting sound. On the one hand, I didn't like how they got swallowed in the mix occasionally, but my ears kept focusing on them and kept being drawn to them. Really cool. The raps. Oh man, they're great in this track, uh, fast paced, they don't overstay their welcome, really awesome stuff. The beat is kind of standard, but I liked the attack on the snare, really thumps in this track. Love or Die, it's incredible, nice one Kravity. X in, no doubt, they recently got kind of famous for that uh, Respect song with the name drop to all these K-pop artists. This is more like their main title track I would argue and it's pretty good, it reminded me of G Idol's debut in some ways. The beat and bass, it's cool, it's a catchy riff, it sounds like that infinite comeback. Uh, the vocals, they could be buried at times, it's quite sharp, the vocals at times, they're kind of piercing. But I liked the attitude on this one, it's not bad. Serin, somehow. Didn't do it for me, the vocals delivered in a choked way. It's great for the emotion, but it always felt weak for me. 
The production's fine, the vocals are touch loud in the mix, the guitar sounds pretty, finger snaps are fun as well, but they go for the whole track, so got a little annoying. Fell flat. Fell flat. Rare. Grey dot. Speed hits. Had me bopping my head, great production, scratchy, warm kick, but not overwhelming in the low end. Very spacious, this mix. Synths sound like they're in Antarctica. Cold, distant. Rare has a great voice. Lots of effects are put on it, giving this track space and a grandiose feel, but that was great. I really liked that element, that epic feel. Very different to the usual cozy warm vibes of a typical R&B track, so this one really stands out and works. Love this track. High key, deeper, pop punk mid tempo style really suited High Key's voice. Vocals are mixed perfectly. I love the performance. It's dynamic. It's on point. Beautifully performed. Production, it's okay. The beat is a touch standard. The bass sounds weird, a bit too velvety, squelchy at times. The synths are cool. They bring an indie feel to the track. Which works, the guitar tone is cool, maybe wanted it brought out in the mix a touch more, especially with that pop punk leaning, but very solid. Pretty good track from High Key, probably my favourite song by them so far, check it out. Mont, M-O-N-T, I-D-G-A-F. This track, it doesn't quite know what it wants to be. It's slick, it has these raps, this big hip hop inspired beat like a K-pop song. But it's quite rooted in indie or pop punk. I wanted this one to be more dirty. It's overproduced like a K-pop song. And there's not much distortion. It's very clean, except for the guitar. Catchy chorus though, the Wattos, they are not annoying this time around. They're quite infectious. It's not terrible, but not amazing this one. Got my eye on Mont though after hearing this. Norwegian Wood, Breakup. Love how minimal this one is. The guitar and vocals and that's it. Really suits the airy vocal delivery. The delivery did mean less dynamics because it's delivered in that airy, whispery way. But I didn't mind, it was beautiful. The solo is awesome, that provides dynamics. It comes in just as I was getting a little bored as well. Beautifully recorded guitar, nice low end, it twinkles in the high mid, it's a beautiful track. Lingy featuring Lone, Someday. It's not bad pop R&B track. Summer vibes with bright synths playing throughout. The beat is pretty good. The bass not overwhelming but present. Lingy's voice is great. Lone is great too. They have decent chemistry as well, making the track playful. Worth checking out. NCT Wish. Wish. Vocal samples and beat at the intro after the chorus as well is epic. It's that 90s, 2000s, boom bap kind of hip hop vibes. It reminded me of Lupe Fiasco or The Far Side. Even A Tribe Called Quest, kind of. Otherwise, it's a fairly standard SM sound. As expected, it's an NCT subgroup. Of course, it's going to sound like their stuff. But it recalls EXO as well, their brighter moments. NCT Dream. This group seems more on the NCT Dream side compared to, say, 127. Very much so. Maybe just because of their ages, they look really young. The production is epic. Everything is so crisp, so balanced. It wasn't really my style, but it's good K-pop. Youngjun, Home. City pop track. His deep voice, it complements the arrangement beautifully. Otherwise, it's a pretty standard track for K-ballad fans. From 20, Demon, this one's groovy. From 20's vocal is great. I love the falsetto in the pre-chorus. It's really well done. Not big on the whistling though. That's overused. The bass is mixed really well. Its tone is slightly lacking grit though. A touch too clean. But the beat and bass are tastefully compressed. The mix is somewhat spacious. But this is perhaps hampered by a lot of compression. It's a loud, dancey disco track, so I totally understand why they went for that compressed kind of sound, but it's a lot. Big for the fans of Jungkook standing next to you. You'll enjoy this one. Really liked it. It's really catchy. Hi. Slow down. Fun flow to this one. Well performed. High voice is unique, warm, young. The beat is pretty standard, bass tone's great, it's warm, it's got nice grit. 
for fans for Baker, Yon, or Bulsar. That's going to do it for this week. I'm Sean. Thanks for watching. Buy me a coffee. Link in description. Till next time.